All right, guys, today we're going to do the fuel lines and primer bulb on a Shindaiwa HT231 hedge trimmer. Um, pretty simple process. Um, I'll put all the fuel lines, filter, primer bulb. I'll, I'll put the whole kit in the description below. Um, it comes with everything, like carburetor and everything, super cheap. Um, in case you just want to do the carburetor and everything, too. Um, comes with usually a bunch of extra spare parts like air filters completely gone on that They'll come with the air filter and everything all right um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some brake cleaner or carb cleaner and we're gonna rinse off everything real quick just give it a good rinse off um, that way we don't have so much dirt going into areas it shouldn't be going into and then we're gonna take off these two Allen's um, I think it's like a five millimeter I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, um, cut these lines off I'll show you where they go anyways so don't even worry about them I'm just gonna cut them off get them out of the way oh we can just get the carburetor out of the way like so um, and we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver where'd my flathead go all right Right. In the back here, we're going to shove the screwdriver under this grommet and then we're going to pry up on the whole grommet to get it out. Oh, wait, look at that, we got gas. Let's go ahead and dump this gas out, get rid of it. See, we just popped it out, just stuck it in there, popped it out, no big deal. Get this out of here. Boom. No biggie. We're going to, uh, we're going to do, now, uh, the kit will probably come with a new grommet and everything. Um, you know, uh, I I just have extra fuel line and and stuff laying around, so I'm gonna do a little trick to replacing all of this. Um, this feels good, but I'm gonna replace it anyways. Um, you know what? Actually, I may not. I may just go ahead and put this right on top of these nipples and leave this alone because it seems fine. Um, if I if this was cracked and you're in a bind, you would just cut this section off, rip this plastic nipple out, rip this plastic nipple out, and then you would just feed your lines into the holes themselves and forget the plastic nipples, just get rid of them. And you just pull it through enough to put a filter on, you know, around that length there and put the filter on it. Um, if you're in a bind. I'm not really in a bind. This guy just had a bad primer bulb, really. Um, and since I got to open it up like that far, I might as well go ahead and replace the fuel lines too, since this one was hard as a rock and ready to split anyways. All right, so remove these two fuel lines. Add fuel line onto the nipple. Grom it kind of where it would go. Take a guess at how much fuel line you need. I'll cut it up here past everything, even though I don't need that much. Yeah, just to make sure I got plenty of fuel line. Then I'm gonna go ahead and stab this one on the other nipple. So this one, I'm gonna. This is gonna be the return line. I'm gonna leave it long so that we know that this one is the fuel line and this one is the return line. Um, the fuel in obviously is going to go to where the black one was. It's the inner nipple, or if you look at it from this side, it's the one closest to the primer bulb. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and remove these two lines. If you look at these nipples, the bigger nipple is the one that the fuel line goes to. All right, so now we got four screws, Phillips heads. We're going to take those four screws out. We only want to take out the metal piece um, and push the primer bulb out. And then we're going to go ahead and push the new primer bulb in. And this will go right back on here. You'll push, I need two hands, you'll push the primer bulb right in to that groove right there. Got it on there. It doesn't take much. Just push it on to that center little area and you'll feel that it's it's in good you know, in good that it's on tight. 
Then you put your four screws back in to hold it all in place. Got it all in like that. We are going to go ahead and put this grommet back in the tank now. Filter first. Shove it right down in. Okay, long line is return, short line is suction. Short line is going to go to this nipple. We're just going to kind of line it up. And we're going to line up the line and cut the line to length. We're going to stab this line. This is the line that goes to the filter on that nipple. It all lines up nicely, just like that. We're going to go ahead and get about the same length on this one. And we're going to cut it to length and stab it. And it's the return line. Line it all up. Everything looks good not kinking or anything we're gonna go ahead and put these bolts through the carburetor like so then uh, we're gonna put this gasket back on oh we're gonna have to clean it up it's real dirty let's get it cleaned up so see the little hole see the little hole we need them to line up. That is your vacuum line for your fuel pump. So we're gonna set that all up to where it all lines up. Now we're gonna go ahead, tilt this up, and put them back into the isolator block. Like so, and then we're gonna tighten them down. Like that, make sure the choke arm works. All right, that seems to be fine. Check the throttle. It's working still, everything's good. Um, if you feel that these lines are too long, which these are all right, um, but you can pull them off, cut a little off, and stab them back on until you get the desired length that you wanted. I think that's a little bit tighter, it's a little bit better, right? All right, now we're gonna dump a little gas in here and see if this thing primes up. Primed up good. If it doesn't prime up, if you look in the tank at the filter that's all the way in the back on the bottom there, if you see foam coming out of the fuel filter, it means you got these two lines hooked up backwards. Swap them, swap them around. So it's priming up good and everything. Gonna go ahead and put the gas cap back on it. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. They said it ran, you know, everybody says stuff, but we'll find out. I'm gonna give it a try and find out. All right, guys, and that's it. This helped me out in any shape, way, shape, or form. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, give me a uh, give me a subscribe. Show me a little support. Um, I, any of the parts will be in the description below. Yeah, if you want to do any advertising through my channel, message me. Peace.